A brand new trailer for Monarch Legacy of Monsters dropped today. We had a teaser one a few weeks ago. This is a first full official one, and I'm going to take a look at this one next. <laughs> Happy Friday, everybody, and welcome to this trailer reaction for Monarch Legacy of Monsters. You know, as I said in my intro, we had a teaser one a few weeks ago, but this one is a first full official one, and I'm looking forward to see what we're going to get in terms of the story, some of the uh, visuals here, the special effects, and are we going to get some new titans and i'm asking that question for a reason i'm also looking forward to see if we're going to get kurt russell wyatt russell how much more of the cast we're going to get this one of course directed by matt shackman who of course has uh, fantastic four on the horizon but matt shackman was asked by collider to talk about what he wanted to what he wanted to put in this and would we see new titans and he said one of the great things about this was the chance to create new titans new monsters to add to the monster verse so that's a part of it using folks that we know and love from before is a part of it i don't want to say too much so that you can be excited about what you see when you watch it so that gets me excited to see it and i've got the first couple of episodes that have been sent to us as uh, as screeners here for me to watch and take a look at and i'll certainly have a review for it because i think the embargo is up this weekend so i look for that coming here on the channel but uh we're here to watch a trailer reaction so let's, let's get into it San Francisco. When the whole city was coming down, these guys were taking pictures, like they've been waiting for it. Oh, wow. You think that your father was working for them? Oh, Kiersey Clements. Nice. Who are they? What's Monarch? Oh, <laughs> that looks familiar. This is the world that we live in. It's Kong Skull Island. Monsters are an inescapable reality. Those files belong to us, and they are more important than you could possibly imagine. Oh. This is going to give me nightmares. Oh, there he is, Gert Russell. Now you can choke down that monarch lie. <laughs> your father disappearing oh interesting and find out what really happened before it's too late oh wow oh thanks oh oh wow that's alien-esque it's not ours believe me oh there's your gun nice it's so much more vast than we could possibly imagine <laughs> These monsters is why I'm monarch. Have taken everything from me. No more. Oh. Oh. The world is on fire. If you want to save millions of lives, we can use some help. <laughs> oh, Godzilla. Wow, look at that shot. Give it to me. Yeah. Wow, man. Woo -hoo -hoo. All right, there you go. Uh, that is the trailer for Monarch Legacy of Monsters. That looked pretty damn awesome to me. Um, and the production value. I mean, we got to talk about the production value. That looks pretty uh, in uh, like they spent a lot of money, pretty intense uh, and, and really well done. And I like the um, the look of it all and the scope of this thing and where it's all going and the story that they're telling here and all the different actors involved. And this one is obviously decades old, this story that they want to tell. And it's connected uh, to a number of the government uh, services that have been around on this thing. And uh, the people involved in this thing is just pretty intense as well. And uh, you got to, according to the synopsis here, you've got to Anna Sawai and Ren Watabe, who are playing the siblings here. Kiersey Clements, who we saw, plays an American hacker in Japan, whilst Anders Holm, Joe Tippett, Mary Yamamoto, and Elisa Lasowski also star with John Goodman reprising his role from Kong Skull Island. Certainly, we saw some shots uh, that reminded us of Kong Skull Island there with the ship and everything out on the water, or out on the land, rather. And then, of course, John Goodman running through the woods there, uh, escaping some sort of spider-like creature. So, pretty cool. We saw glimpses of a couple of different new Titans there. So, excited to see what they're going to be like actually in motion here. But also the story. It's really the story, right? The 
you, you, you love monster effects. You love these. I love these films. I grew up with these monster films. They're awesome. They're so much fun to like just turn your bra brain off and have some fun with. But if you can also put in a very interesting story, which the movies haven't 100% accomplished in doing i like the first godzilla but it's been a little bit of a law of diminishing returns every installment since it doesn't mean i haven't enjoyed watching them because they're fun for what they are but having a deeper story here having a family story here which they've attempted to do in the movies and not really kind of accomplished it especially in godzilla versus kong but having it come through here it seems like now that they've got a series they've got a little more time to flesh this out a little more time a little more time to connect these characters a little more time to give more depth and complexity to the story that they're exploring here that'll make it even more interesting to watch this so that the monsters the titans the special effects all of that are in addition to a really solid story so from what we're seeing uh, from what we're seeing here in this trailer it looks pretty badass and kurt russell i mean you can't go wrong with kurt russell he's the right amount of gravitas and manhood and just handling shit and seeing some shit type of energy to put into a show like this so that the young people coming through here the young actors young characters can take advice from him and a little bit of guidance from him but also kind of walk their own path so it's a good mixture i like this cast i like the look i like the feel and if this one is received really well and i enjoy it i think i'll be more excited to see his version of fantastic four because it's a little bit marvel right now is a little bit up in the air a little bit unstable so i'm not so sure we're going to get a great fantastic four but if this turns out well then my faith will be a little bit stronger to see what Matt Shackman's going to do. So what do you think of this? Did you like this trailer? Did it get you excited to see this series? Uh, did you like the scope of it, where we're going, the fact that we're going into multiple, multiple decades? Wyatt Russell, Kurt Russell's son's going to play him as a younger man. Do you like that Kurt's coming in here and trying to tell you, hey, you can buy all this bullshit, but there's more going on, and there's I'm going to show you this conspiracy stuff. And certainly our society seems to be all into conspiracy theories lately, so this kind of maybe will check that box as well for people who are into it. So what do you think of all of it let me know down in the comment section below hit a like on this video share it on your social media and you know more than anything else please subscribe to the channel down below and hit that bell button so you see we're dropping all the content we do here on the outlaw nation channel and of course uh, don't forget about the patreon patreon.com slash john roca here all right monarch legacy of monsters coming out november 17th on apple tv look for it and look for my review coming out this weekend and i'll talk to you next time with another brand new trailer reaction here on the outlaw nation <laughs> Thank you.